So as I said, we've got a new tar. We don't need to specify the um, compression type anymore of the, of the tar ball. And there you go, it's working. So it's a great, great convenience. But of course, we've also got a tar that um, is compatible with the host system requirements. So bin utils, let's create the temporary directory, configure it. Um, actually, one thing I'm going to do is to reboot the machine so that the IP address is the same or rather correct um, in case it has any bearing on anything. So um, I'll log out of this and log out of that as well and do a control or delete on the machine. And OK, I forgot to come out of that one. So this will now need to be P4-3000. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't change the IP addresses in the configuration either, did I? Or the host name. Right, okay. Which is what I was thinking I needed to reboot for. But I didn't actually get that far. Right, so I need to change hosts. Uh, host night. Oh. oh, sysconfig, isn't it? Sysconfig. Okay, that's all right. Um, network devices. Right, I think that should be it. Right, let's do another reboot. Okay, that's better. Right, so IPA, no, IF config. Yep, that's okay. So now I'll become LFS again. Echo dollar LFS, make sure that's active. CD LFS sources. Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah, I need to mount the partition again. Uh, mount slash dev slash SDA9 LFS. Now become LFS, CD LFS sources. 
Going to bin utils build. That should be empty. Uh, right, yes, we just ran configure. Uh, in fact, I'll run that again. Now we've got a different IP address just in case um, that makes any bearing. As I say, I don't think it would make any difference whatsoever. But I don't want anything to go wrong. Right, so let's build this and I'll log in here again to see that both cores are being used. Right, well there's three shell scripts being run there. So it's probably doing some more configuring rather than, yeah, some actual building. Let's wait till it does some actual uh, compiling with GCC. Okay, I like that bit there. No, there's nothing obvious there, actually. There's certainly two or three shell scripts running at the same... Oh, there's three makes there. I really want to see the compiler. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Oh, there's two there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It looks like, can I get the two cores up? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, they are both being used. Uh, yeah, there's 80% each, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I was wondering for a moment there whether make, this early version of Make didn't honour that um, environment setting, so that environment variable, so it's clearly that it does. I think the programs have been compiled so fast initially that they were appearing and disappearing before um, top could actually update so that's good as I say if you get a program error a compile error um, it's going to be because the hierarchy of the dependencies um, that are required when building in parallel um, haven't been met correctly so recompiling sometimes just recompiling even in parallel again can resolve it but generally just um recompile on one thread or, or one job and that that will fix it so that is built uh, it's actually taken two two minutes and three seconds to build that um, so that's pretty nippy so let's now install this And we've got to prepare the link for adjusting later on, as we did in Linux from Scratch 5. And that's done. So it doesn't say we need to keep this um, bin utils around as it did in version 5. Just read it. No, so we can get rid of that. And move on to GCC. 